All right, hey guys. So, um, I just thought I'd give you a quick walk around video of what's been going on with my car right now. Uh, cause I've had some pretty interesting changes lately. Uh, light bar's still there, obviously. I'm not gonna change that if I can avoid it. I don't see why I would change that. Um, a lot of fun installing that. Um, as you can see here, I took the plastic dip off here and here on my hood. Uh, that was fun. Um, actually that was a pain in the butt if we're being real here, but, uh, it was cool while it was there. Kind of got tired of it though. Um, as you can see, I've got my regular factory fog lights. Or do I? Because my wiring harness doesn't work for that. My factory wiring harness. So what I did, guys, I put in a, oh, I don't even remember who I bought it. I know I got it on Amazon. Uh, a uh, light bar wiring harness with two leads. Wired that up. So I have fog lights again. Here, let me uh, hit that switch. Um, so yeah, fog lights. That's a thing now. Um, so that's good. Uh, as you can see, my plastic dip on my mirrors got scraped up a little bit, so that's probably going to go soon. Um, I've got my, uh, nice new rock blocks mud flaps looking real good. Um, front, you can see the front there. Coming back to this back window, I've got this little sticker that I got at Rocky Mountain Subaru Festival. Uh, that's on the inside. It's on the inside here. Uh, it's easy to remove if I want to take it off. Um, I've got my Rocky Mountain Subaru Festival 2016 sticker up there. Um, as you can see here, I've got the uh, mud flaps on the back. You can probably see the front ones there too. Um, I've got this uh, little sticker that our school gave out. All Tech Lansing sticker for my, um, my amazing new, um, it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's waterproof. Uh, I put that waterproofing to about as good of a test as you can get. Um, it was soaked after Bandemir, uh, every Friday night for Grudge Night. Um, as you can see, Rockbox logo matches, uh, the mud flaps. Mud flaps are white. That one is gold. Uh, Grim Speed, little thing there. Uh, sorry everything's so dusty. I didn't realize that, actually. Um, another Rocky Mountain Subaru Festival logo. Uh, this thing, yeah. That one didn't go on very well, so it's probably going to come off. Um, as you can see, it's got creases and crap in there. Uh, school logo. Then there's this beauty here. Um, it's a nice Cobb um, logo. Uh, I got that from Cobb Tuning at Rocky Mountain Subaru Festival. Uh, I talked to them out there. Um, Actually, I said if I wanted to, I could get a engine swap done. It'd be really expensive, and not the kind of money that I have. But I could get an engine swap done and run a WRX or an STI engine in my Forester. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, maybe if I, maybe like after I graduate from college, which is like a long time away from now, since I'm only a junior in high school. But it could happen. I could potentially do that. I've got this down here. Um, it's a nice silver two inch hitch cover thing. My one and a quarter to two inch adapter. Yeah, that's what's going on back here. Um, Come around here, as you can see again, the uh, mud flaps, front and rear. Um, I've got this sticker, uh, just like the one on the back, but different colors. i uh, got that one just like the other side. As you can see, it is on the inside. Um, my bare archery sticker, which is starting to peel, of course. 
go figure. Triple A Colorado. Uh, again, that one's also on the inside. Easy to remove. Uh, another rock, rock Blocks logo. Grim Speed again. Rocky Mountain Subaru Festival again. That came on the car. I believe it's Calvin and Hobbes, but I'm not sure on that. Um, I've got my mud flaps down here again. Looking great. I've got my uh, windshield is mostly clear because I don't want stuff on there particularly. But right over here, outside of my windshield wiper area, geez, that's a tongue twister. I didn't think it would be, but it is. I've got another Grim Speed logo. Looks real good up there, I think. Of course, I've got my plastic dip crossbars, plastic dip mirror, which is scraped up again because school pretty much um so yeah that's what's going on there um hopefully this weekend i can get a video up um because i know some people have asked at least one person has asked how bright this light bar is well i want to know too because i haven't gotten to use it on anything like when i was driving <laughs> The only time I've actually used my light bar, believe it or not, we had a party at our uh, neighborhood clubhouse, and um, well, there wasn't any um, there wasn't any light, so we used, uh, decided to use it for that. Um, I've got my uh, GoPro suction cup mount mounted up here for. Um, Uh, for my dash cam right now because my dash cam mount just completely failed the other day that was kind of funny um so yeah that's uh that's that kind of sucked actually uh, it actually happened when I was cleaning my windshield and it just kind of went and my dash cam was swinging by the cable and I'm like well that's a problem and so I, I still have the cable over here. Uh, it's not plugged in down in here, but it is still there. So if I can get a new mount, I can get that back up. Assuming the camera is going to work. Who knows about that? Um, I figured out what was going on with my check engine light codes, uh, and I'm coming on whenever I was driving on a certain highway around here. Because uh, I always came on when I went through the toll plaza. We finally figured out it seems to be something in the toll plaza that causes that. I don't know if that's possible, but if it is, then it is. And if it's not, then, well, who knows? <laughs> We're operating under the assumption that that is, in fact, possible. Um, what else do I have to say? Um... Oh, about racing. Um, I've been having a blast doing that. And um, I know there's a kid in uh, my math class over at my high school. He's got a WRX. Might be racing him soon at a um, Band of Mare because, of course, if you're going to race, do it at a track. It is not safe to street race. Um... And it's just not a good idea. You can get pulled over. You can get a ticket. You can, I think, lose your car and stuff, too. So that's no good. Um, so don't do that. Um, I don't know about your tracks. Colorado. Colorado State Patrol sponsors a great program at our track. Bandmore Speedway, that is. Uh, every Wednesday, they have Take It to the Track Night during the summer. It's great. Um, I've... I've actually gone to that once. I didn't take my car. Um, I went with my mom's friend, who also goes off-roading with me. Guy with the X3. Yeah, you probably know him from my other videos. Uh, his X3 did pretty good out there. Um, I'm still trying to figure everything out, but um, while I've got, while I'm in my car here, let's see if I can find it. Uh, here we are.
This was my, um, hold on. Okay, yeah. So this was my um, fastest time out at Bandemir uh, for Grudge Night. Um, on the right, obviously. Uh, car number 50. So a 19.173 right there. That was fun. That was my first run out there. It was probably about 70 degrees, I'd say. And I had I got my throttle cable tightened because it was a little bit loose. Um, which is weird, but... Um, I think under optimal conditions, this car should run in the 18s out there, actually. Um... Because, uh, Grudge Night, we do a stoplight start. Uh, I had a 1.101 reaction time on that. Uh, which is terrible, if we're being honest here. I tried. Um, I got better after that. I had a, well, not entirely, I guess. I had a 1.642, and a 1 point, uh, or a 9.13, or a .913, let's try that again there. Uh, that's not a and a 6.07 at Grudge Night. That 6.07? Oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't me. I was looking at the wrong side. <laughs> that guy had a good reaction time. I had a 1.139 on that one. Um, my fastest speed out there was across the speed trap was 72.17. Um, so that's not by any means slow. It's a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, my car did great out there. Um, I'm hoping to go to a take it to the track night probably and race this, this guy in the WRX. I know I'm going to get smoked. It's just a fact of life. When you've got a Forester that's not got a turbo and everything. So, see you later, guys. Oh, one other thing I didn't mention, um, I know I cut the video, and <laughs> the camera kind of took a fall there, um, oops, I caught it, we're good, um, but one other thing I was going to mention that I didn't, I forgot what it was, <laughs> uh, let me think for a sec, <laughs> I guess this can go on the blooper reel, big time.